let's go and we're going to do some recording here we're going to do like a little update on our health <clears throat> i think this is really really interesting stuff but this goes way back to 95 and i haven't talked about that stuff there is a possibility another possibility uh, the MP Ultra eventually ended with what they insisted me it's going to be a tube inserted in my stomach just like the father has it now and it's going to be used to feed me and it's going to be used to do so for me to recover obviously intestine so they told me during the walking the police would go walk with me and they would come back walk with me and come back so they, they told me now you come back now you eat so they feed you with injection and then you go and you exercise again that's going to be the procedure this kind of theory actually This type of theory was uh, supported with something else. In 2019, 2020, I was brought to United States of America from Poland, not brought, but hijacked as usual was with Central Inge Intelligence Agency to an individual, to a family of an individual uh, about whom I have even complained about. Uh, his name, a wife, Jack, uh, Jeff Lacroix, Heather Lacroix, let me see that if I can get there you go uh, actually let's see this stuff here uh, this is just another channel they have I see and so when brought to these guys, and that was really, actually, that was really in 2019 rather than 2020. 2019 it was. They again pulled some stupid shit, man. They again came up with some stupidities as usual. Uh, and this stupidities involved their daughter shooting and stuff like this. And during that shooting, uh, they yelled at me that they lost uh, the contract, they lost the money uh, because of my complaint. The company they had contract with no longer want to do. Uh, these are the guys here. Yeah. Uh, no longer want to do business with them, and I'm guilty for what I did. And this is uh, basically that I complained about pretty much about the stuff that went on around these people. It was my fault for, for being tortured, hijacked them and being tortured. It's just my fault. Uh, now, I realized what Prince Harry was talking to me about. This is released three years ago. Will Heather ever return to YouTube? Like, really, really dramatic, dramatic stuff, really. I would feel sorry, but I really do not, because uh, they, give some, they give some explanation here. Uh, I suppose it's not worth working for, the money, I mean. I have no idea what this is all about. Uh... But, well, I can't help myself when I see this here. 
this stuff here here this is what I'm talking about Angelina Jolie there will be no peace like this for instance this guy here Jeff LaCroix told me we are just waiting for you to die uh, but they did give me a few tips and insisted me on is guitar dying but if you pay attention to this here you're gonna see here I'm not saying that it was Jeff LaCroix who poisoned me or something like this but Slovenian police did and it was not Slovenian police only it had to do with the village it got to do with what they claimed me I need help for it got to do everything with the mental illness because people claimed that an individual in the village Senichar is his last name one of the brothers of Senichar uh, got a problem with his gut with his intestines uh, because of me that I was the one at fault and obviously what they meant was that somebody poisoned him or something and it was because of me that they cut him I don't know how many percents of gut uh, it is actually a miracle that he still is alive Trust me, uh, I can express gratitude to physicians who assisted this man for somehow to stay alive. Because this family, this Senichar family, was my favorite family in the village. I'm probably the last person who would have absolutely anything to do with these people. They were involved in MK Ultra torture. They witnessed it. They heavily have misguided. They were involved directly in torture. And that I would be guilty for one of their brothers to have damage on his um on his gut, on, on intestines, that's just uh, stupid bullshit. In 1995, in 1994, they started to, I already told you, they started to fuck with the pills that they would give people. It wasn't only pills. They started to teach in 95 and 94, they started to play with the stuff that if you go to the fast food, we don't have, we didn't have fast food restaurants back there, back then. But yeah, people like they would sell the hot dogs and stuff like on the street, like street vendors and stuff. And they claim that just one of those, and they put you the stuff inside, and you're all set. And then the next thing is a cancer on your gut, on your intestines, surgery, and that kind of stuff. Dead, hundred percent. They teach me. I met people that eventually interviewed people even that explained me on how it is done. Uh, this is the circle. This this is the circle I was around. Um, I'm fucking speechless. I don't know what to tell you. It's the stuff they did play with. And uh, yeah, I mean, next to the cancer in left foot, next to the cancer in the, in the right arm, uh, next to all the problems they develop over the course of the time, like in a heart area and so on. Blood clots issues even. That's the kind of stuff 
that could be dangerous, all right? It could be more. I have no idea. They play here. They would give injections. Uh, they were doing all kinds of stuff with me, all right? So now, if it's a gut, if what Jeff told me It just never crossed my mind because of so much bullshit they instilled in me. Um, and I keep getting these babes anyways. And the environment is like really toxic. I love the chocolates. I love the creme schnitte. I love that stuff. But I don't buy that stuff. That stuff comes. It's special delivery. For instance, listen to this. He just follows up on me. I, it's just, how can I say? It was just so much of a good advice. But this advice, that's actually something that no matter how hard you would try to, I, you just can't avoid this stuff. Now, I don't have it here. Uh, but what I can do is... You see, the problem is that before it comes to you about what these people did, um, it likely is too late. It's an ice cream. Yeah, this is how they talked. He told me, don't eat it. If they're going to put this to you inside, don't eat it. Don't eat it. I, I, uh, I don't buy this stuff. I don't purchase this stuff. Uh, if they, if they, I don't know. This shit keeps following me around. I mean, it's not about if they, this and that, and so on and so forth. There is uh, just really so much stuff that's being done that uh, I figure out the most primitive food is actually the way to go. Um, difficult to explain. Um, I had no idea about any of this stuff. What uh, Franja Tujman, I think, was one of the victims of this kind of stuff. That's a Croatian president. Uh, I understand there's a lot of people that got this kind of treatment, special kind of treatment with, uh, with this uh, intestine cancer boosters for which Americans alone claimed me that they don't understand because I already got two or three of those pills uh, on how come that I still don't have the cancer, that they don't understand why is it that um, I had no fucking idea because I, I never filled myself with the, with the poison, you see, I never did this, so I have no fucking idea why I'm still alive. See, to answer to that, you would know better than I do, because, as I stated, out of 30 years you had me during MK Ultra, at least 25% of the time I spent drugged up in your hands. So, what you gave me, how you did all this stuff, I have no fucking idea. I know the coffee is pretty bad for bacteria and that kind of stuff, but in my circumstances, the shit I'm talking about has got nothing to do with the stuff I do. Um, that's all I wanted to do. I just want to finish this shit. I don't want to talk about this stuff because this is like, this is a stupid shit next to the problems with a liver with um, a 
with a kidney, I have no idea. Uh, it's the seven year I'm coping with this stuff. I told you about this stuff. They told me you should already have even dialysis done already uh, in 2019, whatever. Uh, it, it, it doesn't matter. It's all good. It's all right. Uh, I got booster. I see here uh, there is booster ice cream. It's all kinds of stuff. It's being delivered. The thing about it is that I have to tell you, um, it wasn't only a police officer that would talk to me like this. It, it was international people that they told me, uh, don't take this, don't take that, don't take fucking anything, don't, don't, what? I mean, don't, you know, don't do anything. Thirty-three years of this stuff uh, without absolutely nothing, and you just nothing. I mean, don't take this, don't take that, don't this, don't that, don't this, don't that. Maybe the British Royals can explain what is so cool about it because they like it a lot. Prince Harry claimed me. Even that Princess Baira Kitiaba, which it actually rather angered me when I thought about at first about this Princess Baira Kitiaba from Thailand. At first, I didn't have any kind of hard feelings. At first, like a good dog, you know, like a good dog that you can abuse, and he's going to go and he's going to move his tail and he's going to come to you. Anyways. I didn't even thought about what these people have done to me. So the only thing that came to my mind was a good thoughts, a good thoughts, uh, a thoughts you would at least love to believe somehow existed, you know. Uh, we love to lie ourselves, basically, when we are in a situation like this. Uh, I don't think anybody really is, but I say this is quite unexplainable shit, really, of the British royals. No, I don't torture animals. Uh, British royals, however, did do people, not only animals. That's why I said that. And when he stated to me that Princess Bairakiti Abba, you now because a little earlier I mentioned to you this guy here. Jeff Lacroix and his wife Heather Lacroix. Uh, they have a contract, and now they just have to wait, I understand, for this contract. I don't know what to get by, whatever the issue might be. I, By the way, I appreciate, they explained to me uh, the, the food that I should eat and the food that I shouldn't eat. The thing is that the stuff like, the stuff what you see here, the Ranke Ultra, uh, doesn't even get to you unless you see the channel and I was really upset with them back then I wouldn't even look at the channel until today see this guy spoke to me four years ago uh, and today is when I saw the channel it is you know this is just stuff I mean this is so trauma based stuff that you just you know you people don't understand no, but MK Ultra, that's all about the trauma, you know. And your environment, when you're returned into a real time, is all trauma around you. You know, this is just fog of death that you are just entwinkled. So, I'm going to say to Jeff, Lacroix, and Heather, actually, I'm going to say to you guys, thank you. Maybe when I meet you in person, I'll kick your ass.
what is this here, this sign here, he was talking to me about this stuff a little early about, I don't know, some kind of signs and, and, and stuff like this, it's something I'm sad and so on. Yeah, right. Don't come here no more and I don't know what and stuff like this, yeah. Okay, that kind of stuff. Um, Prince Harry stated to me that I shouldn't think that Princess Bayrak Idiaba doesn't have ability to recuperate itself, come back to life and continue. We are only waiting for you to die and so on and so forth. Well, the thing about it is, I don't wish her dead. I don't wish her dead. That's bullshit. I don't. I never wished anybody dead. I never wished anybody dead. I always wished everybody the best. But when I think about the stuff you guys did to me at age 18, 19, that is disgusting. At age 18 and 19, did you go and you see it in somebody cancer, lymphoma? surgically start to introduce in his body wounds, inflict wounds and destroy his immune system and just torture him and shit. If it was not real Litvinenko, the man who was supposedly killed by having injected I don't know what they did. Radioactive material in one. It must have been terrible. Terrible, painful death, if it was. However, and if it was not the real Litvinenko stated me, this is how you're going to be. As for myself, this is just what's going to be written about me in the media. But that's how you're going to end. This is pretty disgusting. It could be Putin's henchmen that did the stuff like this. It was a kind of stuff like this they did. I'm not saying that he's not dead. Um, I'm just saying it's weird for me to understand, uh, to accept that he's dead because he was a really, really good friend of Vladimir Putin. His wife too. These people actually hated me uh, because I didn't view myself in them. I have rejected everything that even looked Russian during MK Ultra. That's how far this stuff went. This was a classic London school of resentment, of stuff like this. They tortured. Talking about Litvinenko's family. Real Litvinenko. Um, so I don't have anything to say in respect to this stuff. This is, um, it appears to me, when I think about the rappers, Dr. Dre and Method Man and uh, Snoopy Dog, Doggy Dog, and I, I don't know what's his name, Snoop, Snoop, Snoop. Uh, and uh, you guys have done a lot of bad stuff and there was a lot of people that filed for this death certificate disappeared beginning the 2018 it went into a crazy mode 2015 already was detrimental because I didn't back down from my MKH claims and said it's fucking taking like eight years now uh, of this death certificates and deaths. I'm not saying that everything is death certificate. I am sure that there is a lot of deaths, but I'm sure there is also a lot of death certificates for this rich and famous we have never seen that will be dying like flies. With every person that you see posted as dead was actually involved in MK Ultra. So, you understand, from my point of view, it's difficult to accept for any of the people that you post are dead is really 
a dead person, I'm sure you understand, right? If you would be in my situation, you too would. And I'm not saying that there is not dead people in between, or nor am I saying that uh, that I buy that everybody is dead. All right? In other words, I doubt about number of deaths is reported as actual dead. Prince William, Prince Charles, Prince Andrew, Donald Trump are fucking obsessed with the idea about peace. Yo, that's why I love this stuff here when I see this stuff here. Peace. From yeah, this was a Jeff Latrell, this place here. Do not enter here. I'm going to post you here. We don't want to see you no more. This is pretty traumatic, guys. I don't know who the hell would be looking for you like this in my situation. And then you give him a tips here about the spaghetti and stuff like this and gut and this and that, which actually really is appreciated. But, you know, such a weird people. I'm not saying that I'm not. I affiliated myself with these guys because, because of the wildlife, because they like nature, because they, they spend time fishing and hunting and that kind of stuff. And that's pretty much what I used to do too in Slovenia. I never hunted. I never really killed animals. Uh, I mean, shoot animals and stuff like this. I, my father did. I, I never did. But fishing, I did a lot of that stuff. So... Because these rednecks are fisher, fishermen and fisher ladies, I figured out when I came to the U.S., it's like really interesting to me, this stuff. Uh, but they run business and uh, business required a British view on me as for my being viewed as racist and so on. And Heather was really used as to uh, trick me into racial issues or uh, basically rejecting other women and men and everything I just wanted her and so on and so forth so they played with this issue and created a war a war zone and because of course everybody was after them then they had to do bad stuff for me Bad stuff to me, which was a complete classic British classic. That was a British classic, a royale classic. Uh, so, and then they got the money for that kind of stuff on the side, you know, contracts and all that kind of stuff. So, anyhow, thank you guys. Thank you. Um, if I'm not going to die so soon, all right, if I'm not going to die so soon, uh, well, what are you guys going to do? Are you just going to keep waiting for me to die? Or you are going to get yourself some projects some, with some other company? You're going to get going or something? I'm just asking. All right. Um, I find incredible that it would be people like this. That would, actually, I see the Princess Byra Kidiaba is already <laughs> on a vacation. Uh, of course, she's in a coma. She is, her heart, lungs, everything is supported uh, with machines, um, etc., etc. I already have spoken about this. Uh, so it appears like a good number of these are rappers and rippers and all kinds of great people. Otherwise, Mr. Bean, imagine, I lambasted Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean told me, uh, British Royals told me, this guy you can never get. Because why? Because he's has such a great number of supporters that it is impossible. He's internationally recognized. And uh, if you do this to all these people, you do this. In other words, I'm not worth a shit, in other words. Yeah? Because it's such a big names, great names. And I agree. Oh, look what they're doing to me still. Uh, I agree that that Rowan Atkinson was my favorite, really, next to uh, 
not even Benny Hill, but Monty Python was, I like that. And yeah, I just have to write a stuff like this. You, you think I really want to do this? I, I really don't want to do this kind of stuff. This is just not the stuff I want to do. But what choice have you gave me? I mean, and when you consider Mr. Bean, Mr. Bean is awesome. Uh, uh, Rock, Dwayne Johnson with the muscles and all that stuff is so great. And Schwarzenegger is such a great hero. You heroes, you you watch him on a TV and so on. So, so, so who the fuck is this guy, Sebastian, this guy? He only, what, he's talking about MK Ultra, you know, that's me. That's an ugly me here. <laughs> Who the hell is this guy? What the fuck? Who is gonna? Who cares about this shit? Who cares about it? You know, it's like Joe Biden said, eh. "Rotten in pain and in vain." I, I'm gonna say, okay, all right. So I'm just saying, uh, if I'm not gonna be dead just yet, um. Maybe you guys should just grab some work and stuff like this and, and go on with the life like nothing happened, all right? Uh, I didn't know that the consequences of your misbehavior, of your criminal behavior, torture and that kind of stuff would have a, such a heavy psychological impact on you. I had no idea, but it's probably a lot of people that are being killed around and maybe I have no idea maybe I should say despite corruption this is such a big pool of people involved and you know this torture became so popular it's just like a game you know you torture somebody you torture torture and you produce these video clips and uh, off you are to get the job promotion and it doesn't matter because the person is killed dies is under the bridge homeless, uh, get the cancer, whatever happens to one, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter because you have a new house, you have a car, you have promotion, you have a business. Uh, maybe a bitcoins make you wealthy, whatever the case might be. Um, yeah, I completely realize I'm a fucking nobody next to such a big people, great personalities. As you are, that's how MK Ultra actually ended. Right? It ended with me having tube inserted uh, in a stomach. I would go out hiking, walking, and stuff like this. They told me that's like really, really important for you, Bob. They told me that's like really, really important for you. You're gonna have to walk a lot, walk a lot, and then you're gonna report yourself home. And it's going to be nurse that's going to give you uh, an injection, feed you, and you're going to go off and you're going to be walking and walking and walking along. And hopefully that's going to cure you, you know. Hopefully that's going to cure you. That's how it all ended. All right? So I have no idea what it is, but yeah. If I'm ever going to get to tell the story about what exactly I've gone through during the last seven years, this is probably the craziest stuff uh, that one managed to endure, get through. Uh, when I tell you exactly how I procalculated and so on, How this stuff was all done. It's actually, you're going to be horrified a lot. There was a reason for everything. A lot of stuff they had done to me. But right now, that doesn't matter. I have to go to the next topic. Uh, and so, this is exactly how MKL trained. All right? So... That's basically how everything went. Uh, they had other scenarios. British royals 
hoped back for something more. Uh, they were actually praying for my uh, for the failure of uh, through a liver, pancreas, uh, get kidneys. Uh, so interconnected with blood circulation and blood poisoning and lymph nodes and heart and that kind of stuff. Hope that my body would enter in shock and off I would be gone. If not dead, as I say, it's transfer even to Thailand where condition on life and death. Uh, and or if not agreed, return back to Slovenia. Like Princess Byra Kitiaba is now, supposedly since December the 14th. Wish her a speedy recovery. Um, I don't believe that she is, but I'm saying if she is, as for uh, American politicians, so I became American citizen in, in uh, 2000. That's a different story, boy. I don't know what the fuck I would want to do with, with, with your grandchildren. Seriously, you are, you are scum of the scum. I know that, and they told me, they warned me about this. They told me, Bob, don't, don't say about that kind of stuff, about this and that and so on and so forth. Fuck that. Just remember what you did to me when I was 18 for standing up against Putin for standing up against Yeltsin. Yeltsin was not such a cool guy, you know, for standing up against all the KGB in Moscow, for standing up for Ukraine, for standing up actually for the Russia, because today Russia is in danger just as is Ukraine, for reasonable, normal, civilized world for European Union I hope it was civilized for NATO it was actually the time in Moscow where all these politicians would meet have me along and you know, about Richard Nixon Ronald Reagan Toto Coutinho you would say Toto Coutinho who the fuck Toto Coutinho Toto Coutinho is Italian singer. And when it all started, Toto Coutinho was more known in a circle of wealthy people, presidents, than Berlusconi was. Do you know that? He was very, 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 I have no fucking idea, popular or whatever, but Italian government literally selected him. They selected him as a part of my team. In 1990, before actually, before the war broke out on the Balkans, that's a Serbian war against Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia, Montenegro, and they also had a problem with Macedonia and Montenegro. However, the war between those two did not broke out. But listen to the story. Listen to this, very good. You know who knows me more than anybody? How, who was Italians? Italians were because I insisted for Slovenia to become independent. So I was in Moscow before Slovenia even took a route to become independent. And Italians were on my side. And uh, do you know who the biggest enemy was? My biggest enemies were Serbs. But the second biggest enemy next to the Serbs, you are not going to believe this, but the Italian side remembers this stuff. It's going to shock you. The second biggest enemy next to the Serbs 
and it was the enemy that actually passed Serbs, animosity of the Serbs, hostility of the Russians and Serbs against me. It was actually Bosnian people. Representatives of Bosnia and Herzegovina went completely fucking insane when I told them simply about independent Slovenia. When I saw the Bosnian people going against me, well, I decided that it was not only Bosnian people. The Croatian people were neutral. They were in between. They didn't know. And when I saw the Bosnian people going against me, the only thing I did was to block, to cut, to immediately chop away portion of a Yugoslavia that could potentially cause me a problem for me to make Slovenia independent. In other words, to receive assistance from the West for Slovenia to become part of the European Union. They asked me uh, how I see, what about the Bosnian people? I, 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 was, I was completely dismissal. I told them the border is on a Kolpa river. No Croats, no Bosnian, I told them, this is completely other people, uh, other group of people, not only Serbs. We don't have nothing, we're different, different nationality, different DNA, different, absolutely different, absolutely everything. You have no fucking idea. The Bosnian people became 10 times more hostile against me than Serbs. They were asking me, are you going to accept the Croats? I told them, no, I'm not going to accept anybody. Why would I accept a, uh, anybody? Why would I accept? Why would I accept anybody? I told them like this because I didn't know what the fuck went on. I was jocked up. When you talk to me, if you're going to accept this or you're going to accept that, it's like, why are you saying to me if I'm going to accept them? What are you, why are you saying to me if I'm going to accept them? What is the connection between me as a Slovenian and between the crowd uh, that is in between, that is not sure about what he wants? A uh, Bosnian guy who went completely insane about Slovenia becoming independent and swore he's going to wage war on Slovenia. What exactly is now the, this stuff, I mean, got to do with me? It had nothing to do with me. It's got to do with a question which I never ever should be challenged or, in other words, asked. Up to today, I don't understand that question at all. What exactly they were talking to me about in respect to Croatia. You, know, you just got to be completely honest about how this stuff went on. Eventually, Croatia figure out that it's not going to end well with Serbia and took initiative to join me. In other words, um, circle of what Serbs labeled as a separatists, those who want to detach themselves from Greater Serbian Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia. They decided, despite everything, despite Bosnians, they were very hesitant about it. They wanted Bosnia on board. They were very, very hesitant about it. And Bosnian people, however, were taking the, the Serbian side at the time. And um, At the time, because everybody turned against me, they tried me really, really hard. I actually dismissed this. All this stuff, folks, happened in Moscow. I dismissed everybody, including Croatia, and turned to Italian side. Toto Contunio, if he ever wants, he can confirm this. Uh, 
I find it actually I'm really, really angry about it because what I'm doing right now is something that should never happen in the first place because of circumstances I'm in. In 2019, it appears to me that Toto Kutunio requested from Ukrainians uh, prior to his uh, public uh, festival uh, in Ukraine, they listed to list him as unwelcome or something like this. I read in the website today. Uh, and he came to me that he was actually asking me for one more chance and this and that. Uh, I never have a problem with with uh, with Toto Kutuni. I never had a problem with anybody. I never had a problem with 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 a single Italian or with a single German or with a single British or with a single American or with a single with whoever the person was. If the person was not involved in a torture against me. Even if the people were involved in torture against me, sometimes people involved in torture against me so they could participate. It was situations also like this. Uh, I never had a hard feeling. I never, I never said one sorry word to Italian people, ever. One fucking word. I was tortured enormously a lot in Italy. The thing is that Italians could never get out of me something they could use and say, oh, he hates us, uh, he cursed us out, he, he called us uh, names or something like this or whatever. This just never happened. I was pissed off and I didn't want to have nothing to do with them and I used all kinds of tricks to just try to escape, whatever find my way so I wouldn't be there on picture anymore, but I never did this stuff, you know. I never had any kind of hard feelings. And if we go to 1990, before the war broke out on the Balkans, this is how the war actually happened. I didn't know, but I had more to do with it than what I initially thought. West used me uh, for this negotiations uh, and unexpectedly did Croatia got for me more than what uh, I possibly believe human possibly could give out of himself. And it appears it was a success for Croatia because the next one, or just as at the same time, it was Ukraine. Uh, the thing is, who used me also for this? I am not happy about it. I'm really, really very, very unhappy about it. When I think about this negotiations with the nuclear weaponry, it makes me miserable. It doesn't make me happy about it. Um, but that's basically exactly how it happened. Once the war broke out on the Balkans, the Bosnian people still didn't know what the fuck to do. Uh, they were still participating in the Serbian army in Slovenia. Confused in, uh, in, in Croatia. Uh, but luckily it was Serbs that demonstrated them exactly the same thing they have done already on a Kosovo to uh, Albanian population, basically to the cause of Albanians. And once they started with the massacres of Bosnian people, which is rather, I don't, to completely, you know, very difficult to understand because, you know, I, I don't know. It's more or less the same language and uh, Bosnian people, this is actually Croatians and Serbs with a Turkish admixture, with some Turkish admixture, and uh, the religion, because of the religion. The religion was the motive for killing of the Bosnian people. Uh, Slovenia escaped with a 14-day war, 
Croatia, the hell broke on Croatia. Bosnian people, uh, everything that was stated to me before, I became like a public enemy number one without even fucking understanding what the hell went on around me. Uh, All of a sudden, they started to side with me. All of a sudden, they started to understand why I liked Koto, Toto Cutunia so much. Why I wanted to see Italia. I was radical to the point that I insisted, Slovenian people, that uh, even that in the face, which was like rejected, and they understood that as a rather as a determination as a knowledge as a traitor or whatever that i want slovenia even to become part of the italy at the time which was like so fucking absurd that it didn't make any fucking sense it wouldn't make any sense to me in real time you know but what i wanted to do is at the time with a statement like this was to agitate Russian side and Serbian side as much as possible for them to understand that Slovenia is out of the door once and for all. They are not going to see one ever again. That's what I wanted to under what I wanted to understand them is because they would not respect absolutely any say anything i wanted them to acknowledge slovenia as an independent country which eventually they did with war on one when war broke out in bosnia in the bosnia people were like in a total disbelief like the fuck i mean uh actually identical situation to ukrainian people and russians Ukrainian people beat the shit out of me. Um, thinking that the war is never going to come to Ukraine. Thinking that it's just bought it better to whip my ass and stay friend with Russians. Which, I agree. My ass could also take that kind of beating. Uh if only Ukraine would disappear, and even Russian people, it's not Russian people that are not suffering because of this shit, they are. Uh, and it was nothing other than beating until 2014. Uh, but boy, it was other stuff too. It was not, everything was not beating with Ukraine. But anyhow, they had to portray me as a public enemy, number one. And use me as an espionage tool throughout Ukraine, just like Russians did throughout the Russia, and also in Ukraine, and in Belarus, and so on and so forth, uh, and in Chechnya, and in Azerbaijan, and Kazakhstan, and all over the place. <laughs> so, you know, when the war broke out in 2014. Ukrainian people also couldn't couldn't fucking believe I was delivered to Crimea where Russians went on to Donbass I was hijacked and delivered to Donbass and to Crimea and these people are like in a fucking disbelief they, they have this funny uniforms like you would go to uh, like, like a military uniform and a fucking uniform ridiculous uniform like you would be like on a, on a on a tram or something collecting the tickets and i was like this is this is the army and i was like 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 i was jocked up and i was like what what you say i mean i i was in a complete disbelief what the fuck and what about the weapons weapons they had weapons from the second world war something like this some kind of uh, never mind uh it didn't make any impression on me uh i knew that that's gonna be the end before it's gonna even start they knew it too 
still they, they put up a good fight against the Russians. Crimea didn't go down just like that. They fought as much as they could. Uh, but that that's that's exactly that was exactly the reflection of the stuff they did to me. But since 2014, Ukrainians realized and they 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 changed their view and they said, yeah, "You were right." Yeah, you're right. of course I was right. If you would have listened to me, he you would have kept those nuclear weapons, and you know, it's not about me, you know. But still. Uh, where there is hope, I think there is everything. So um, that's pretty much Toto Cutugno was a big politician, ladies and gentlemen. It was not only a singer and stuff like this. It was very popular in those circles, uh, and he was very, very pro-European. I don't know if Slovenia ever received any help from Italy, anything like this during the war for independence of Slovenia. Uh, it was these people, Illuminati, talking about like King Bumibol from Thailand. Uh, they was fucking crazy. I mean, whack job. I mean, he steered the problem. He pushed me into. Listen, I had a physical fight over there with the Russians in Moscow. You don't understand. And I was drugged up. You know what I mean? Not that he would push me, you know, but I didn't need much, you know. Just uh, isolated as I was, isolated. And, you know, if just somebody give me a little signal, you know. Uh, I had this incredible stamina, optimism, you know. I was, I wouldn't give in. And that's why they claimed the British royals did, everybody did, the American politicians, that's why they claimed me. They said, we need you because you are so tough. We need somebody like you because you're so tough. It wasn't about me. You know, Toto Cotunio sang a song to me. He said, Toto Cotunio said to me for goodbye. What exactly I mean by for goodbye? He was trying to tell me that we are fucked. We, you. Uh, he said, by then already, Berlusconi arrived on a stage. Italian government installed Berlusconi. And Berlusconi was a very good friend of the Putin of Moscow. And Berlusconi, the only thing, it appeared that Berlusconi eliminated all the supporters from Italian government. That Italian government actually dedicated to me. Uh, Tutto told me, but there is one thing more we're gonna do. I am going to sing this song, Europa, for you. Uh, and so he appeared at the Eurovision with the song Europa, which is a really, really beautiful song. Uh, and pretty much, it significated his departure. From the political circles, he would remain present during the ZPK sessions, and he would still try to work. Uh, Italian government dedicated him, like on a side, that he would be giving me a, a support and help. Uh, and then I was guilty because I didn't do my stuff and this and that and so on and so forth. And it was a lot of stuff to do. So I'm just giving you a little history, basically, on how all this stuff in Eastern Europe, how it all happened, who exactly I am, so you get the taste. So I'm a nobody. I'm a fucking nobody. Uh, look, you have a young people now. Prince William, Kate. Kate Middleton talked to me about so much about peace. Peace. The peace is going to be when you're gone, when you're dead, and so on and so forth. So uh, there is a lot of exciting 
news out there, folks, heroes, Dwayne Johnson's, all kinds of sports people that were involved, the great people that shaped this world. But if I somehow do not die, if I were you, I would take a job, I would get myself a new contract, I would, I would go on with life, you know. Because even otherwise, and I think they're dramatizing also this stuff very much. I'm not sure if uh, you know, how uh, through the court, through the legal system, this stuff is going to work out, hopefully. Uh, but really, every case is, is independent. You know, it's just, I find this, the culture kind of strange, really weird, crazy, that I see people that wouldn't be doing what they otherwise should, uh, like Jeff Lacro told me that he's just going to be waiting for me to die and stuff like this. It's, this is this kind of stuff is fucked up, isn't it? I have no idea what what I would say to this kind of stuff. You know. This kind of stuff, if they did to me with these pills, with this kind of stuff, you know, uh, and the booster they gave me and so on that affected my liver, my kidney, stuff that I have written about by a year ago, not even a year ago, half a year ago. That kind of stuff uh, that made me that totally discolorated my urine. It was no more normal, white, clean urine, but it turned out to be, you know, blood in it, and and yeah, this this kind of boosters that that they give in this kind of toxic environment. I don't know, you know how much you can. Uh, how much I am in what uh, what shape I am, what what the situation is. Maybe I'm not going to make it through. Who knows? I just want to let you know, folks, how the MK Ultra ended. Yeah, feeding tube, uh, exercise and feeding tube, exercise and feeding tube. You know, that kind of stuff. Exactly what the neighbor police officer Metod Yerman, his brother Cyril Yerman, stated me they need so that they could see if it's possible to cure Sinichar who suffered this kind of issue, removal of gut and intestines and so on uh, that it was my fault and this and that I, I don't know what the fuck to tell you no. this is the MKO3 experience, this is what MKO3 is no? I hear that people even say that MKO3 is not a torture so this this was a butchery. This was not a torture. This was not a human. They talk about the, it's a human experimentation. There's no human experimentation. This goes beyond human experimentation. This, this is a butchery with a definite goal, with a, with with damaging an individual, basically killing him, and using all 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 methods possible to get him killed systematically. Come on, man. This was recorded on June 4, 2023. I'm going to give you a date and time. This one here. They involved a lot of issues. Kidney, liver, cancer in left foot, cancer in right arm. 
a lot of stuff, man. And the song that I have 24-7, uh, what the hell is that stuff related 